In this video, you'll learn how to get started with the forecasted feed wedge, a tool to help you see the effect of different decisions using scenarios. To add a new scenario, go to the Insights tab and then tap the forecasted feed wedge button. Tap New Scenario. As a starting point, your current pasture metrics will appear here. Edit these inputs to forecast a new scenario. When you're finished, tap the Generate button. Your new scenario has been added. Here you can see how those inputs and decisions might play out over time. You'll see a forecasted feed wedge, the APC, and the surplus or deficit amount per day. Create multiple scenarios to compare the effects of different decisions. To edit a scenario, tap More and then tap Edit Scenario. You could also delete the scenario from here. Okay, let's take a look at each of the different inputs. Firstly, enter the number of days you want to forecast ahead in this scenario. For round length, you've got a couple of options. You can either enter a round length here, or tap this toggle to calculate the round length based on how much area is being grazed each day. Enter the area to allocate each animal, and tap here to edit the size of each mob. Tap back. Either use the current growth rate, or enter what you think it might be. Tap here to select which paddocks to include in the rotation. Unselect any paddocks that you plan to take out for silage in this scenario. Tap back. Next, you can see pre and post grazing targets. The pre grazing cover target can be set manually, or tap the toggle here to calculate it based on feed targets. Enter the feed targets, made up of pasture and supplement, and tap here if you want to edit the size of each mob. Tap back. Here you can edit the post-graze target. And then lastly, select a rounding option.